I think it, it might potentially lead to upsetting the entire status quo. Uh, I mean, when the whole Arab Spring uh, thing started and different pop like civilian popular, uh, you know, unrest or protest started off, uh, it seemed like a good thing. But then at the end of the day, uh, you don't want chaos ultimately. And, and I think it's, it's a bit unfortunate that some of the countries have not yet been able to settle down. Into a uh, into a transition phase, mm -hmm. and that could be potentially upsetting. And the thing with the internet is, uh, you get to see everything. You get to hear a uh, very pluralistic. Uh, uh, you have uh, you you start having a very pluralistic view of the society. You get to hear the other lot. You get to have a dialogue, and that might breed more uh, discontention because we uh, the world obviously does not have the resources to let's say equalize living standards or transportation or houses. And, and that could upset a lot of fragile economies.